Welcome to Novels Alive, Live the Story, brought to you by Between Your Sheets, for those with a passion for books, and the 7th Annual Jared Butler Fan Convention and Charity Gala. Today's guest on Novels Alive is New York Times best-selling author, Christina Skye. Welcome to Novels Live. I have New York Times bestseller, USA Today bestseller, Publisher Weekly bestseller, <laughs> Christina Skye with me today. How are you? I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. Oh, I'm so happy to be able to meet you. We've talked on the phone yes, before, have, yeah. and you're just so personable, and you've <laughs> accomplished so much in your life. Well, I mean, it's a the joy. Whole China I, thing. Yeah, I love writing, and it's just, I never expected to be a writer, but it was one of those light bulb moments that wrote my first book. Uh, chapter and new, this is what I need to be doing. And you definitely need to be <laughs> filling our lives with your wonderful books. And I have to say, you are actually up for an award here at am, our team. It's very exciting. There's so many wonderful authors. So it's just, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to be nominated. And you'll know on Saturday. Uh, yes. Uh, Friday is Friday. the award ceremony. Friday is the award ceremony. And what is the category? A uh, contemporary romance, yes. And you can check my Facebook page, Christina Sky Books, and we'll have the news as soon as it's ready. <laughs> Excellent. So tell us a little bit about this contemporary series that you've been nominated for. Well, this is the book, uh, my last book, um, the most recent book, A Home by the Sea. It's a series of friends of women who have struggled through very bad times and they support each other. Uh, one by one, they've left this small coastal town in Oregon. It's an idyllic place. They've left it for um, bigger ponds, and now they're one by one coming home. They have conflict and very difficult situations, and they each support each other in hard times. And uh, I, it's a, these are stories from my heart. They have knitting. I'm a big knitter. Yeah. Big knitter. I don't want to overplay it for non-knitters, but there's a good deal of knitting and. Um, I just finished my next one after this called The Accidental Bride, which is my oh, favorite title. I and love I it. love the character. She's just over the top. She's crazy. She's my crazy me that I don't let out except in my books. Well, don't so you find one, a little bit of your personality? Yeah, they're, they're all partly me, you mm -hmm. know, and, and like a mother, you're not supposed to have favorites, but you know. But I you love this it. one, but The Accidental Bride, which will be out next year, is kind of my total They're favorite. They're all in the same series. They're all in the Summer Island series. The first mm -hmm. was called The Knitting Diaries. That was a short story in a collection called The Knitting Diaries with Debbie Maycumber, a great friend and a great knitter. And um, that started the series. So this is the second, then Accidental Bride next year, and there's one more book in the series. Oh, fantastic. And I know that your fans really know you for a series and other like, series that you do. Yes, Drake out Abbey, my paranormal, which I keep hearing all the time, when are you going to take us back to the ghostly Abbey? And yes, I'll just sneak this in. Fallen is the first book in a new um, series set at Drake out Abbey, and that will be out next month. But so, I can't say too much more about that now. <laughs> well, we'll keep them hanging on, you know? And, and You can I find know... it all at my Facebook page all the details about this. will be posted in an excerpt. An excerpt, yeah. Excerpt Excellent. Too. And I know your fans, your readers will be absolutely... All I'm going to say is Izzy. Everybody loves my character, mm -hmm. Izzy. Izzy is back in his full glory. And I'm saying no more than that. <laughs> and with that, we will end this interview. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. It was fun.